yeah so yeah but i'm gonna wear them because i put them in my head and i got stuff to do so i'm just gonna wear them as is yeah if, if you older and you don't like baby hair and i know you like girl girl <laughs> Playing the city, no makeup, just wake up and still giving the free. Get the lights, camera, action, cause it's big as a movie. And grab a seat and now tune with disastrous view. Hello, folks. It's your girl, Disastrous Beauty, coming back with the voiceover. So this unit was sent to me by Nadula Hair. Shout out to you, Nadula, for sending me this unit. As you guys can see, this is a closure unit, and it does come with two cones in the front, one cone in the back with adjustable straps, and this is a straight textured highlight highlighted wig this unit is a 20 inches long and yeah y'all i'm just gonna go ahead and style this wig and i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch it if you are interested in any more details and specs and all that good stuff about this unit then please continue to watch and i will see you love bucks in the outro bye <laughs> Okay, y'all so i am obviously finished styling this wig and this is what i got if you are interested in the details the specs and all that good stuff about this unit then please continue to watch. okay y'all so this unit was sent to me by nadula shout out to you nadula for sending me this unit i really do appreciate it the unit that i am rocking is the nadula hair 4x4 straight lace front wigs 150 percent density highlight lace front human hair wig virgin hair highlight wig child i swear girl girl the names be long honey 
Okay, so let me see, can I find more details? Okay, so it looks like on here you can get this wig in three different colors. I see a 13 by four. So keep in mind, this is not 13 by four that I'm wearing, but I do see a 13 by four highlight TL412. And then I see the four by four fake scalp wig, which is the one that I am wearing. And then they have the five by two PU silk base wig. Okay, so they have those options. Um, I don't know what the color difference is. Yeah, I don't know, but they do have those options. Okay, so they do have it available in 10 to 24 inches in the four x four fake scalp wig, which is what I am wearing. So if you got that in 10 inches and you shipped it from China, because you do have the option to ship it from China or the United States. Okay, so if you got the four x four fake scalp wig shipped from China, 20 inches, it'll be $143.82. Now, let me see how much it'll be and what's the price difference if you get it shipped from the United States. Okay, so the price difference is like a dollar. So if you get it shipped from the United States and you get this length, you get the four by four fake scalp wig, it's gonna be $142. If you get it in 72 cents and if you get it shipped from China, and you get the same wig, it'll be $143.82. So it's not a huge difference. And honestly, it's cheaper to get it shipped from the United States. So honey, why not girl? Okay, why not? So yeah, those are the price differences. And so you will have that like, honey, you have that information. Girl, don't come for me, honey. I'm just, I'm just giving you what they got. So honestly, I think that the price is really, really decent, especially um, for a 20 inch wig. Like I ain't mad at the price, girl. I'm not mad at the price whatsoever. Now, as far as shedding and tangling with this wig, I do feel like it sheds a little bit and it's not tangly whatsoever. Most of my straight wigs aren't tangly, uh, but this one does shed a little bit. So keep that in mind. It's not enough that it bothers me or that I'll go in, honey, but it does shed. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. Now, keep in mind with these type of units, it says four by four silk base, but you cannot part this wig anywhere else. So where I have it parted in the middle, that's it. You can't part it anywhere else. So it's gonna be right here, just like this. Okay, <laughs> so you can shift it if you want to. If you don't wanna wear a middle part, you can shift it. The length is gonna like not match up, but I don't think it'll be a huge difference or a huge deal with the length because most people, they don't wear their hair all to the back here. They usually have a piece coming over like this. So I don't feel like it'll be a big deal. I just wanna let you guys know in case that is the style that you want to do. And as far as the hairline, I did tweeze the hairline some, but you have to be very, very careful when tweezing these types of units because the track is literally like right there, okay? So honey, if it moves too much, somebody gonna see my track. <laughs> so just be careful about tweezing it. It's with these type of units, you just have to be really, really careful. So I want you guys to keep that in mind as well. Uh, and as far as it being big head friendly, in my opinion, because you can only get it in this size. In my opinion, I do feel like if your head is on the bigger side, you can make it work. And if your head is on the smaller side, you can make it work. Now, honey, if your head is a water head, you, you might be, your head might just be stuffed in there. Okay. So keep that in mind, honey. If your head is real, real big, you know, your head girl, like sis, like we ain't going to pretend here. Okay. We're not going to pretend, you know, your head. So. I feel like if your head is really, really big, you know, you might not want this wig, but I do feel like if it's like normal big, you can make it work. So keep that in mind. Um, as far as the parting space, I did tweeze a little bit, but child, I may have made a road in the middle of my head. Like what you think? <laughs> yeah, I may have made a road in the middle of my head, but she gonna wear her anyway. Okay, cause she cute to me. So yeah, I want you guys to keep that in mind as well. And that's pretty much it as far as the details and specs go with this wig. So now we can get into a lint check and then we can get into how I feel about this wig. Okay, so this is all of the hair brought to the front. Keep in mind, this wig is 150% density. So this is all of the hair right here. And this is where it comes to me. I am 5'4". And this is where the hair comes to me in the back. And it does like, it reaches my butt. And you guys know what I always say about my rolls, honey. Don't mind my rolls, they're for dinner, okay? <laughs> don't, don't mind my rolls, sis. So, okay, now we can get into 
the outro portion of this video, the official outro portion of this video, and I can give you guys my thoughts and how I feel about it. So if you are interested in that, as well as what I did to this wig, then please continue to watch. Okay, y'all, so honestly, I am feeling this wig. I love these type of units. I feel like I have done quite a few of them. Not necessarily this color. I think the one that I had was more of a golden type of blonde, and this one is more of a, a 613, I wanna say 613, but maybe not, I don't know. But this this blonde is a little bit lighter than the blonde that I did before. But I love these type of wigs. I love this type of color. Like, I like, I just like me some highlights, honey. I just, I just think it's a look, <clears throat> especially when it's highlights on brown wigs. Like, I just love it. I just, just somebody, okay? If anybody send me one, I'll be like, yes! You, all you gotta do is send the picture, girl. You send the picture, I'm gonna be like, yes! It's just my type of swag. Uh, so yeah, I'm feeling this wig. I have no complaints about it. And you guys know I love uh, closure, okay? Closures are life. Closures are mom wigs, okay? Nobody can tell me different. Nobody can tell me different. Closures are mom wigs. We are always on the go. We got a lot of stuff going on now. Like, even if you're not a mom, as a woman in general, honey, you already got a whole lot going on, okay? A whole lot, a whole lot of, as GD Zoe say, okay? So, you already got a lot going on, and closures just make slaying easier. It does. Like, you can't tell me difference, girl. You cannot tell me different. So, yeah, I am definitely feeling it. I love that it's a closure. Now, I initially was going to uh, crimp the wig, and then I was like, no. <laughs> no. And that was last night. So, I, I started, and then I was like, I don't want that. I'm just going to curl it. And the only reason I didn't want to wear it straight is because I still ain't got my flat irons. Nisha, Nisha. Nisha, baby. Baby, please remind me to get my flat irons. Okay, I do this every time. I do a straight wig. I say, somebody, Nisha, remind me. And I don't know if you ain't watching these videos because by the time I get done with the videos, I done forgot. So, Nisha, Nisha remind me to get my flat iron, girl. So, because of that, I only have these little bitty flat irons and I don't feel like they get the job done. They like travel flat irons and I don't feel like they get the job done the way that I would like. So, I still have like some, some crimps over here <laughs> so yeah that that is why i didn't initially want to wear a straight wig because i just knew i didn't have what i needed to get it as straight as i would like but honey you know what she worked with what she had and we gotta look okay yes honey we gotta look you can't yes yes we gotta look girl so what i used on this wig i found i had this wig and weave system for natural and synthetic wigs i found out i had this spray in my doggone bathroom closet and i was like girl let's try this and honestly i like it it took away some of the frizziness that those little bitty flat irons was given and i think it looks good i think it made it look good what you guys think because i did have some frizziness because i had used some gots to be glue on the hair and child yeah so it i feel like it did what it needs to do i don't even remember where i got this honey but i'm pretty sure you can get it from the beauty supply store i just be picking up stuff my husband's like i ain't even surprised you got it i ain't even surprised that you didn't know you have it because i'm bad about that so yeah i used that and it looks good now with my baby hairs honey i know they extra girl i know they extra but i've been watching these young folks <laughs> I've been watching these young folks and honey, extra, extra baby hairs are just in. So I was like, let me, let me try. I want to try. I want to join the club. And child, they too extra for me. Every time I look at them, I'm like, yeah. So yeah, but I'm going to wear them because I put them in my head and I got stuff to do. So I'm just going to wear them as is. Yeah. If, if you older and you don't like baby hairs, and I know you like girl, girl. <laughs> But whatever, you have to try something new every now and then. So that's what I did. And to do those, I did use edge control because like I told you guys, I grew up in the 90s. I need my baby hairs hard. I just do. I need them to stay. I don't want them moving throughout the day. I don't want none of that. We used to hard stuff in the 90s. Our gel, our ponytails, everything. We did everything hard. So yeah, that's what I did. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a full 360 and we can wrap this thing all the way up. So this is obviously the unit in the front. This is it on the left side. This is it in the back. And this is it on the right side. 
okay so just let me know down below what you guys think about this unit if you are interested in this wig from nadula i will have a direct link to it down below in the description box for your convenience so anyways y'all that is pretty much it let me know down below what you guys think about it and so if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you have any questions if you feel like i may have left out feel free to comment down below and if you're not already subscribed so click that subscribe button and if you're not ready to follow me on all my social media platforms i am disastrous beauty on both ig and facebook i'm healthy missy on snapchat and i'm disastrous b on twitter and i will see you love bugs next time bye